Well, hi, Chew is high and back with 20 people booked to 2023 coming in from Yarmouth. Um, I'm trying to minimize um, camera wobble, but it's not particularly easy. My phone is on a tripod, and um, yeah, so bear with me. I do apologize, but nothing more I can do under the circumstances, right? Um, okay, this book is absolutely horrific and it's terrible. It's also going to go into the bonus of a Mills and Boone um, previous project I did, and uh, because I was in Oxfam and uh. Hey, it was 50p, and I was caught by the time, so I read it literally in one bu single bus ride, and it's horrific. Okay, here we go. The Surrogate Mother by Lillian Darcy. Okay, here we go. Following her cousin's tragic death, Surrogate Mother Julie Gregor was suddenly the only mother for the baby she was carrying, and she discovered that the baby's father, Tom Callahan, was even aware that she or the baby existed. And when Tom found out, he insisted on marriage. However, there was no clause in the prenuptial agreement to deal with the heat of attraction that sizzled between them. While Tom was happy to explore this passion, Julie feared he would never be able to accept her more than a surrogate, wife, mother or lover. Yeah, this is an absolutely horrific story. It's, this is a horror film. This is a horror film in the making. Okay, so it opens with Loretta, Julie's cousin has died, she was with her lover, okay, in a car, speeding through a pedestrian area, it crashed, both, both died. Um, Loretta has been buried off screen. Tom is now meeting with Julie to discuss he thinks the particulars. Because Loretta, even though she died off screen, it kind of make it okay. She was a horrible, nasty person, okay? Who essentially, I think, guilt tripped her cousin into having a child. Because what happened was, when they were children, when they were ice skating in the Alps, okay, whatever, um, Julie's arm was, um, was skated over, it ripped an artery. Loretta, um, donated a lot of blood and forgot she was on her period and came down with toxic shock syndrome so it was left to her infertile. Because of that, Loretta in her, basically she guilt tripped her cousin into having her child. With her husband she was no longer married to, she had divorced him. Yeah? Yes, exactly. Right. But the thing is, okay, this bit here, okay, this is a flashback with, with Loretta. Okay, this shows what a nasty piece of work she was. It's a maturity thing is killing us, Julie, and it's stretched strangling our marriage slowly, like a pair of hands just gradually squeezing together tighter and tighter. We both agreed it was best to take a break over the summer while I start looking for a surrogate mother. That's why Tom has gone to the lake. He worked out the contract before he left. Right. Yes. Yeah. So, because she lied, okay? Tom finds out he's absolutely ballistic. Oh, just before that, though, he was checking out Julie's body, okay? You know, her hurt an attractive body with her blonde hair and his tendrils that he wanted to touch okay so tom finds out it goes ballistic if it is a scam because it is a scam it was a scam okay that's how nasty loretta actually is loretta is not really talked about after this okay good thing too okay because she was a horrible person okay all loretta did it okay was what she wanted money okay there was a batch at um, a fertility clinic and loretta forged signatures to get julie to be her surrogate mother to a man she was divorced to for the last few years. Okay? This bit here. We made millions within a year of Loretta and my separation. She kicked herself from that moment on for not hanging on there a little bit longer. She wanted my money, that's what she wanted, and the baby, if there is a baby. I mean, hell, how can there be? The idea of a baby was just the last ditch attempt to get her hands on my spending power. What do you mean, if there is a baby? You can't be suggesting I make this up, make up something like this. Our child grown inside me. Oh, it actually is Julia's child, okay? It's not Loretta's, okay? It's Julia's. Right. And she's the mother. Basically, this poor guy's been conned to become a father, okay? And her attitude is, you know, well, you can't treat me like this. How how could you? And Tom, because it's from my big family, we've got loads of brothers. One of his brothers is going through a bad time, okay, because his child has been abducted um, shortly after the birth. Gets given back though, okay, gets left in a crib, okay, and a baby Amy that is, okay, he proposes marriage, he proposes they get married, okay, and the attraction between them, okay, is apparently there, but it's such a horrific situation, Tom even looks on at her while she's sleeping, you know, kind of mentally exploring her body, okay, because it's all perfect, and it's carrying, okay, his babies, it winds up being twins, okay, yeah, so he proposes they get married, Okay, that's a proposal. They sign a prenuptial agreement, they get married, okay, and so the baby has both parents. Okay, that other ways, oh, well, Tom could have just taken her to court, okay, because he's actually wealthy and see the living daylights out of this. Okay, this is paternity fraud. Loretta was doing paternity fraud, okay, Julie's just caught up in this. 
right and this bit here okay this is when i can't i couldn't even believe this okay is when Tony's meeting at the airport okay she has to fly out for some work and this bit here okay right right it's about the flowers or what about them okay did you give them to me just to make a barrier so we wouldn't have to touch right right that's ridiculous Julie I'm sorry she is this, it felt that way I'll show you how ridiculous that is and then he kissed her he kisses her okay flowers or not he kisses her okay and the thing is this whole thing okay is Julie a girl at times she really comes across when this guy said in the wedding Tom is from a big family okay but he wasn't born to wealth he's self-made and Julie's talking okay about you know what the wedding's going to be like a big lavish affair or something small and he wants a small simple wedding okay like a potluck reception sounds great okay Julie drops this line okay right about it even I couldn't believe this okay right are you serious about your she bit back the blunt with realizing how it would sound and what he asked rich she finished abruptly and yes it sounded bad even worse than she thought oh so we should spend accordingly you fancy that lifestyle do you his time was mild but he said his anger flaring distrust what what do you expect okay flaring distrust oh you big lavish wedding okay with gifts yeah you're not a gold digger All right but they get married, baby Amy's returned, so happy days with his family. Julie winds up taking care of baby Amy while she's resting with her pregnancy. And, okay, and these two people can't figure out their feelings whatsoever, okay? They can't figure out, okay, what's going on or where they're standing. Oh, it's absolutely insulting, okay? Right. Tom couldn't sleep at all. For a long time, he didn't even try. Despite what he said about drinking alone, he downed two full fruits of the excellent champagne. Well, of course, Julie's not drinking, she's pregnant. Brewing on what he felt and why. Whatever had prompted his last excusable cynical phase of his, what did he want? He had one horrible marriage and he'd, he'd begun it with study a lot to meddle with youth. It'd been a relation to him back then, how sour things could get between two people. One then wasn't prepared to work or compromise. Or cheat. Loretta was a cheater. Okay? Let's be clear, they're dead. All right. But the thing is, straight after the wedding, straight after the wedding, okay, Judy starts to bleed. You think miscarriage, okay? Right. Um, Tom comes in, he sees this, okay? The wedding is very, very brief, okay? It's like blink, you miss it kind of thing. And Judy starts to bleed, okay? She starts to bleed, and Tom's reaction when he sees this, okay, is this bit here. All right. The first thing you come to, okay? You're not pregnant. You lied all along. You were never pregnant. Okay? Again, stopped as suddenly as if an answer slash the end of, his, end of the word. She took a face, told me it was a mistake he'd made. Of course, he would never have made it. If he hadn't once been married to Loretta. Of course, Judy hadn't lied. Of course, she was pregnant. Or she had been. Perhaps she wasn't anymore. So, it, in all this, they never actually think to take a pregnancy test about this. They never decide to actually prove to me that you're pregnant okay you do prenatal testing actually spoke about that 20 years ago there's nothing like that okay he just takes it at his word okay he's pregnant with his baby right turns out no she's miscarrying well not miscarrying she's just bleeding okay because you know she's expecting twins a little subplot of her mother who's not at the wedding because she's with her second husband who um he's a struggling actor who basically even says to her well it's okay if you lose the babies because that way you can just start again yeah go through it with a clean slate nice yeah so these two okay they it becomes like a bit of a cold war between them okay oh as a thing it is that julie is advised not to have sex okay to totally violate his prenuptial agreement okay um, when she does, she, they do, okay, she starts to have a little bit of blood again, so she turns into like this little cold war with Tom, okay, she basically won't let him near, near him whilst, yeah, instead of just saying to him, no, but she doesn't do that, okay, right, here you go, let's put here, here you go. He shouldn't think this way, she'd given him no reason to, but he knew that everything about the marriage was so fragile from the pregnancy to the paper on which the marriage certificate was printed. The prenup was possibly the strongest point in her, in her shared life, and even that had been broken just once. Okay? So these two, okay, are just unhappy and dissatisfied and just won't talk. 
okay? They just won't talk to each other. This is Cold War, okay? This barrier. And it's actually really, really insulting. It's actually a really short view. This book is insulting, okay? Oh, the kids are fine, okay? They're a bit premature. They're in the, um, they're in Skiboo, special care baby unit, okay? But Maggie and Rosie are absolutely fine. Okay, and actually for another reason, at no point did I get love between these two. Okay, I hated this book. Luckily it was short, it was like 180 pages, I read it very, very quickly. 185 pages. But this book is so, so insulting. And I'm, uh, oh god, I am sighing off here. Uh, 23 books of 2023. Do not recommend a surrogate mother. It knows, instead of actually exploring surrogacy, okay, this poor guy is basically being conned into conned into this okay by a horrible person in another by a more competent writer in a more competent genre this is a horror film and i'm signing off here 23 books 2023 do not recommend so good mother i'm just gonna go back to a charity shop bye now